and in three, two, a one. Hello, my dear sweet little chickadees. Welcome back to another monthly horoscope with me, Cole. Now, the theme of the month for June with Smudge Wellness and with the world is pride. Now, yes, pride might be one of the seven deadly sins, but also too, pride is the epitome of celebrations. And with this pride in particular, I think we all have a really, really unique opportunity to celebrate all of the stuff that we have gotten through over the past year. I wanna take a moment, everyone, and just give yourself a pat on the back because 2020 was a hard year and the first half of 2021 was kind of weird for all of us. So have a little moment of pride for yourself right now saying, I cannot believe that I am even sitting here in this chair today doing the damn thing. When we think about this concept of pride from an astrological perspective, we wanna look at the various planets and how they're gonna be interacting with not only our emotional state, right? But also to the relationship that we have with other people. During this month, we have a lot of really unique opportunities for us to not only put in perspective how much we have gone through and how much stronger we have become of it, but also to really harness this energy of creating safe spaces and creating new creative opportunities for ourselves in tandem with bringing people along with us who we're gonna say, thank you so much for supporting me and getting me through this. I am just so grateful for you. Really thinking about that different type of energy because pride isn't just internal, right? Pride's external and it's about this celebration of life and opportunity. Now, without further ado, let's get into the various transits that are gonna be happening and how they're gonna impact us. Now, first things first, we are currently still in a Mercury retrograde, but I did film a different video about that, talking about tips and tricks and how to address. So make sure to go watch that one. But the overarching tone is don't respond to your ex. Get them out of here. On June 2nd, we're gonna have Venus move into Cancer, the planet of love, beauty, creation, moving into the sign of the mother. What does this mean for us? It means that it is a really important time that we are creating safe spaces for people, that we are creating more deep emotional connections with the ones around us and new people who might come into our lives. And it also too means that we just have to be extra supportive and extra caring. We're gonna be feeling this really good old mama bear hug energy all around us because of this transit. And it's really important that we make sure that we use it as an opportunity to really uplift and celebrate those around us. And then on June 3rd, the sun is gonna go trine Saturn. So this is a great opportunity, y'all, to get shit done. We're gonna be feeling this sense of achievement and goal orientation start to really pick up once we hit these summer months. So really making sure that we're taking this as sort of a pinnacle opportunity to say, all right, what do I want to see happen in my life? We got the sun, which is the identity, right? The ego, who we are really playing well with Saturn, which is all about routines. It's all about work. It's all about finding security and the sense of grounding in life. So really using the sun trying Saturn transit as an opportunity for us to not only establish what we want to get done, but actually get the ball rolling on it. Also on June 3rd, we have Venus going trine Jupiter. This is, in my opinion, the epitome of love and new love and free love, just being so expressive and so outgoing and so interconnected with so many different types of people. Not only is this a great time to start a new relationship, but it is also a really great time to release any stress that might exist in a current relationship. You have this sense of easygoingness and this sense of calm and this sense of relax that is now present in a new sense of clarity. Additionally too, it's just a great time to get out there and celebrate life, right? Celebrate the beauty of life and celebrate the optimism that comes from quite literally just existing. Now, even though there's already gonna be so much good stuff happening in June, we do have to make sure that we prepare for the potential negatives. And one of those is on June 5th and that is Mercury square Neptune. This creates just a sense of clouded thoughts, right? Overthinky type energy, really just not knowing the right way to articulate or how to express the self. So really focus on baseline, basic communication, right? Be very straightforward, just say what you're feeling and don't try to get caught in your head too much. On June 10th, we not only have a solar eclipse going on in Gemini, but we also have a new moon in Gemini. Eclipses bring forth this essence of change and new beginnings and trying to start something new. And the solar eclipse even more amplifies that because it happens around the time 
of this new moon. So we know that that new moon energy is all about starting something new, beginning a new project, thinking about a new pathway to envision our life. Now the solar eclipse is really sort of hoisting us up and saying, oh, you gotta do it, come on. It might not be super clear right now, but follow the path of your instinct and follow your gut and trust the way that the universe is starting to push you potentially on a new way to exist. On June 11th, Mars moves into Leo, the planet of passion and desire and action, moving into the sign of self-confidence and self-assuredness. Right, So really now this is gonna be that opportunity for us to celebrate ourselves, to feel proud about ourselves, to look at where we are now and look at where we have been and say, you know what? I cannot believe of all the things that I have made it through and all of the hurdles that I have tackled, but oh my gosh, there's still so much more for me to accomplish and for me to tackle and for me to really make happen. This is going to be a beautiful time for us to celebrate ourselves in tandem with celebrating everyone else around us. It is the true embodiment of pride. Now on June 14th, Saturn is gonna go square Uranus. This is a time, guys, where we need to make sure that we are rolling with the punches, right, and not resisting any type of change that's going on. This is creating just a little bit of tension, right? A little bit of resistance to potential structures, right? Potential new sort of ways of living and potential new types of paths that might be in our lives because we might not totally love them, even though they're good for us. So make sure that you're just accepting it, right? Saying, you know what? I get it, universe. Thank you for this gift that is going to allow me to grow and become a better person. It's all about the context on how we address it. On June 22nd, not only does Mercury finally go direct, right? We are getting out of this Mercury retrograde, but we are going to be moving into a Jupiter retrograde. Mm. Now, what, <laughs> what does this mean? It means, yes, we're gonna have better communication, better social lives, better sort of, you know, issues with work and technology, Wi-Fi is finally gonna be working again, all of that good stuff. But we're also gonna be entering a time that sort of demands reflection, right? And sort of demands this sort of conversation with ourselves about where do we need to grow? How do we need to grow? Is there some sort of area in our life where we might be being overtly complacent? And are we gonna be taking accountability for that complacency and start creating an action plan to be better, right? To be smarter, to be wiser, to be more open to all of the areas of life that we might be failing. And the last little transit I wanna talk about this month is gonna be Venus moving into Leo on the 27th. Now, Venus and Leo, again, it's about loving the self, feeling our oats, vibing with everything that we do and who we are and how we just exist in the world. So really sort of ending the month on this culmination of pride, right? And feeling proud of the self and giving ourselves a pat on the back because guess what? It is okay to celebrate your wins. It is okay to be happy for yourself and it is okay to feel some sense of pride sometime. Just don't be egotistical about it, right? That's all I say. Feel yourself, but don't feel yourself a little bit too much. Alrighty, now with all of that, let's dive into the sign-by-sign -sign horoscope breakdowns. Aries, during this month, I want you to make sure to, one, check your impulses during the first half. Mercury retrograde is going to be messing with you just a little bit. But also, too, you are quite literally the champion of everyone. So use this month as an opportunity to really just celebrate everything that you've done and everything that everyone else in your life has done. You guys all get so much work done. And you, in particular, Aries, are always go, go, go. And you forget to take a moment to sit, relax, and be like, oh, my God, I am hot shit. Tauruses, for you, there's going to be a lot of energy happening in your third and your fourth houses. So I want to make sure that you are championing your family in particular. Chosen family, given family, siblings, all of that. People who you consider like friends who are basically siblings. Really making sure that you're taking this moment to look at your relationships, right? Really take stock out and say, oh my God. Thank you so much for everything that you do for me and I'm gonna do so much for you. Geminis, it is our turn to turn over a new leaf, to really redefine who we are. Think about our priorities, think about our identity, think about what we want to happen over the next couple of years, next couple of months, next couple of weeks, hey, even like the next day, but really making sure that we're thinking about who am I, who do I wanna be, and we're finally making a game plan about going after that. Cancers, y'all are going to be the champions for setting the tone of the month of June, right? Venus moves into your sign at the very, very, very beginning. So making sure that you are letting everyone know, hey, this is now a time for all of us to really be supportive of each other and really be proud of ourselves and really create safe spaces for us all to create and to express and to be carefree. 
You guys really have so much power this month, more than you ever think you could know. Leos, the month of June is all about socializing, celebrating your friendships, engaging with other people, really, really thinking about the support and the efforts that are being made on all fronts, especially during quarantine, to keep those bonds close to each other. So really making sure that you are not only taking a moment to be proud of yourself, right? Say, I did it, I'm still making it through, but also too, giving a little extra love to those around you. Virgos, for you this month, I want you to consider all of the things that you have gotten through and all the things that you have grown from over the past year. Because let me tell you, the past year was a big year for Virgos and people with Virgo influence, but not only saying, oh my God, I did it and recognizing your accomplishments, but making sure that you thank the people around you for helping you get there. Libra, I want you to take stock of your day-to-day -day interactions, right? Your day-to-day -day sort of routines. And is there anywhere where you might be taking smaller things for granted that you actually could be celebrating a little bit more? Whether that's just little things that your partner does for you, little texts that a friend might send you, you know, if it's a meme or like a TikTok, anything like that. And really starting to appreciate those more and also to giving those back to those you love. Scorpios, with the solar eclipse and Mercury retrograde happening in your Scorpios with the solar eclipse and Mercury retrograde happening in your eighth house. It is a time to transform and release. With the Piscean influence in your fifth house, it might be a time to reflect on those things that we hold true to ourselves, right? These sort of grandiose ideals that we might make us happy on the surface level. And maybe it's time to grow forth past those and sort of stake a claim on our new identity. Sagittarius is, I want you during the month of June to take stock and celebrate all of the growth that's happened in your relationships, right? Your relationships with your family, your relationship with your friends, any sort of um, intimate relationships and your relationship with yourself. You've gone through a lot of growth this year and you still have a lot of more growth to come with stuff that's happening in later months, but really thinking about June as an opportunity to say, here's where I'm at, here's where I was, and here's where I'm going. Capricorns, listen, I know this might sound stupid, but yes, celebrate all the accomplishments you have made on the material realm. I know that you guys already do that because you guys are hardworking and super successful, but I also want you to do some reflection on any sort of growth points and any sort of accomplishments that you want to make on the spiritual, metaphysical, and more emotional side of things. Aquarius is with the sun going try and Saturn, and Saturn is sitting in your sign right now. I think it's gonna be a time to think of June as the opportunity to stop holding yourself back from starting what you want to start, right? Really getting the ball rolling, creating a plan, sort of like saying, hey, I'm gonna do it. Here's the accountability universe. I'm gonna make it happen. And we are going to see progress being made for you in whatever area of life you wanna see progress being made. Pisces, for you. Jupiter has a lovely high point at the beginning of the month, which is gonna allow you to socialize and integrate and really, really have a great opportunity to take advantage of all of the different types of interactions that you can have. However, once we get into the latter half of the month, I want the focus to shift on this more reflective energy, right? And taking accountability and mapping out the areas of growth that we need to make. All right, and that being said, my sweet, dear little chickadees, I just wanna thank you all so much for watching again, if you made it to this point. And really remember, the theme of this month is pride and being proud of not only your accomplishments, but also the accomplishments of others. And also too, making sure that you are championing and celebrating everyone in your life who gets you to where you are. So really think about that and really make sure that you're exuding this supportive and safe, creative energy throughout this month. I'm sending you all so much love, so much love to all of you and happy pride.